we will cage all known terrorists, bandits, kidnapping sponsors before 2023 elections. DSS boss, Bichi assures. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The Department of State Services, DSS, has vowed to cage all individuals and groups responsible for the insecurity ravaging the country before the 2023 general election. The Department of State Services said it will go after those perceived to be sponsoring activities of terrorist, bandits, kidnapping, and other violent crimes in the country, irrespective of their political, religious, and public status. The service indicated that it has collected the data of such persons in readiness to invest to effect the arrest any moment from now. The move, according to the Department of State Services Director General Mohammed Yusuf Bichi, is to pave way for a smooth free, fair, and safe conduct of the 2023 general elections in the country. Bichi made this known as a ceremony organized by the staff of the service to mark his four years in office, unveiling of a book written in his honor, unveiling of a book written in his honor, and the renewal of another four-year term in office by President Muhammad Buhari, held at the service headquarters on Wednesday night. He said they will not be allowed to escape as they are being monitored on a 24-hour basis. The Department of State Services General listing terrorism, banditry, kidnapping, and other violent crimes as some of the insecurity challenges the country faces said the service will no longer fold its arms to watch those perpetuating these evils move about and carry on with their deadly activities. He says, the Department of State Services, which military police and various security agencies, and indeed the General Republic rely on for intelligence, are working round the clock to read all criminals and their sponsors out of the way before 2023 general elections. Beaches said the service was more than ever well equipped with the state of the art equipment and manpower who have undergone various training within and outside the country. He said, in the coming days, Weeks and months, Nigerians would get to know who have been championing the insecurity in the country using religion and other dubious means as a cover to perpetrate the evil act to the detriment of innocent and law-abiding citizens. He said this set of people would not have been allowed to escape as they are being monitored 24 hours. The DG noted that the tax before the service is enormous given the security challenges in the country pointed out that that with the level of manpower and technology the service has acquired in the last few years, the tax was unsurmount was surmountable. The tax ahead of us is quite enormous, but we have increased the platforms of the service. We have been able to take the, we have been able to take the service to the next level technologically, and we are ready to face the security challenges facing the country. He stated. All the services rely on us for the intelligence, and we are not going to fail them. It is a commitment, and in a couple of days, weeks, a month, all those responsible for all this insecurity will definitely be rounded up, and they will never escape. Responsible for the insecurity will never escape. We are building our data on people that definitely want to undermine the security of this nation, or even our democracy. We will achieve that result. People know our capability. They know that when the Department of State Services says they will do this, they will surely do it, he said. The staff of the agency included retired officers called Eric Comium on the Director General, who they listened, who they described rather, as humble and committed a good and committed and a good listener. Now the thing is, are they coming supposed to come out and tell us this? No. We don't want this piece of information. I've said it before. What Nigerians want is that things start getting better. It is not us that are going to come out and start placing one plus one. Not you coming out to tell us uh, you are going to persecute. You are coming out to tell us you are going to persecute. Yeah. Uncle to me, oh, this your this time. All right. Nigeria elections and the uh, So if not for 2023 elections, on for leave there might be. I pity the poor masses of this country, Nigeria. All right. Exactly my point. Why are security agencies doubling efforts on the build up to election? That does not portray sincerity. My dear, exactly. Exactly. Ogabichi, please, let's help us to go after P2B group and the Rebels party in vain. 
they are made up of unknown gunmen, ESN, IPB members, Yahoo Boys, and Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo Pastors. Please investigate them so that we can have a successful campaign in this outage. Can you just listen to yourself? Now, what happens now you define them? All right. They just woke up from their slumber. Went so much havoc that will take our nation the next 20 years, according to Buratai, have been done. When I do well, posterity will pay everyone accordingly. You better reinforce the security architecture for the department before the arrest, else you might be kidnapped or killed by these criminals. What is this Fulani DSS boss saying? An agency that supports terrorists while going after dictators? The Department of State Services knows what the government knows what to do in few months to end to end this weekend government. They are not only they are not only cage to cage, they should be given seven prison terms. But I don't know I do not use outsides innocent authors to replace imported hard criminalized Fulani jihadists who vary crimes to human beings. Muhammad Yusuf Bichi, please. Bring back the tribunal court. That's the way to cage animals. Cuba, China uses the same system to reduce the population of criminals from their countries. Try to be more bitchy to deal with the criminals. Right. Talk is cheap. You should be ashamed of yourself for making such statements at this time. So you know what to do and you allow people to brutalize the masses on a daily basis. That is how it is, Nanji. That is how. That, that you're a religious leader or a traditional ruler using your office to commit crime does not grant your family or grant your immunity from protection. We have the, we have the people to get, we have got, we have the people got to learn from a criminal. There is no moral justification for criminality under any guise. Innocent citizens have really suffered untold hardship. Anyone caught must be prepared for a criminal must be must not be spared for a criminal is a criminal no matter like i said that before you don't need this kind of coming out to give announcement that's oh i want to protect you i want to guide if you want to guide you know let them guard and when you know it not gets to a point you know you drop they should come outside and tell us what they're going to do they, they are not even they have said it before this one is not even needed all they need to do is to come outside and do their job and then it's let let the observation now come from us that way too. Yes, they don't they try. Not they hear anything concerning say they appear or they don't appear for any community. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>